Ooh. Did I scare you? No, you're so brave. I have Vampire Carrot, Wizard Watermelon, and Witch Pumpkin with me again today. Everyone say hi. And after three, let's say trick or treat. Are you ready? One, two, three. Trick, trick or treat. treat! Wow. You guys all seem ready for Halloween. What do you think? All right, let's get back into the Halloween spirit with part two of the lady at the end of the street. Do you remember what happened last time? That's right. Our three friends saw a big pair of green eyes staring at them from a bush. Let's find out what happens next. The three friends huddled together. Their big green eyes were looking down at them and they slowly blinked once and then twice. And then they disappeared. The three friends were disappointed. They thought they would be the first to meet an alien or become pals with a monster. Wouldn't it be great to show a monster how to trick or treat? The three friends felt braver and they decided to find out what this thing really was. So they peered behind the bush and they saw something there. It had a long tail, pointy ears and sharp claws. It was a cat, a black cat. A black cat on Halloween, oh no! Everybody knew that was super bad luck. The three friends were now certain that any candy they got for the rest of the night would be horrible. First things first, they started walking away from the cat. They had to figure out how to balance out this bad luck. Maybe they could find a four leaf clover. No, that would take too long. What about a horseshoe? They were supposed to be lucky. Ah, oh, but there were no horses anywhere and for miles around. They walked and they thought, and they walked and they thought, and then they looked up. They were at the end of the street. An old lady lived there. The three friends didn't know much about this lady, except that they weren't supposed to bother her tonight. They also knew that this old lady somehow fixed problems that other people couldn't. Maybe she used magic. Maybe she was a witch. <laughs> what else could the three friends do? They had to fix their bad candy curse somehow, and maybe a witch was the only one who knew how. Oh, I don't know. Do you think going to see a witch is a good idea? What other ideas can you come up with? Get someone to help you write your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear them. Like this video and look out for part three, the final chapter of The Lady at the End of the Street.